Hello and welcome back. We are trying to find out how to build the basic things needed for the base. Last time we tried to build a 12 beacon assembly machine build and very quickly discovered that the quantities of material involved are ridiculous. Um, and basically you can't keep the machine going, so there's no point using 12 beacons. Uh, so we're going to try an 8 beacon build instead, see if we can get any further. So this is our assembly machine. Okay, so that's where that would beacon would go. Okay. And the idea of an 8 beacon build, um, we can move these up too if we need to. Um, there are ways to put gaps between the rows uh, to feed materials through if we need to. Um, but normally you would set things up a bit like this. Uh, so um, let's say these were gears. Alright, so let's max rate this. So we are short two gear builds. We've got the same issue we had before, which is basically that you need four gear builds to keep your um, assembly running. Now, if we stick in those, we, we've dropped it down from 2 to 1.6. Okay. So here the gears are running at 10 beacons, the assembly is running at that. What have I done? That's... Oh, these need to be moved up now. Right, let's get rid of these. We can figure out how to... Yeah. We'll figure out how to actually do the juggling later. So that's still 1.3 builds down. So you really do need four gear builds. Right, what's the best way to feed four gear builds into one of these? Problem is, with these offset by two, these beacons don't hit the gear machines, which makes things even worse. Well, maybe we just need to take the hit and run this at half speed. Um, how else could this be done? Okay, so if we did a similar thing to before, where this is gears, and this is gears. All right, so then this has and we leave a gap. Okay, so then can we
Yeah, we could do that. Okay, then we could put another beacon here and here. Um, so we've got three feeding in now. Power it all up. Let's see how bad this is. Still pretty bad. Okay, I'm giving up. I can't run that machine at full speed. So, I think this is the best I can do. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not great. Is there a way to... Let's look at the speed here in terms of long inserters. Okay, loads. So I think it's worth putting in the extra beacons just because, um, you know, if you're going to be under ratioed, at least be under ratioed at a higher rate, if you see what I mean. Okay. Um, I can either have it there or there, but I can't have it there. There. Let's have a look. How does that work? So that's not awful. So that would produce. That would produce 7.5 assemblers a second, excepting that we're under for gears. Put a module there. Eight point seven again under for gears. Slightly worse now, but the gears are being made quicker. So I think this is ah, I've got no prob mods. Okay, that's not awful. That's the best I've come up with so far. Okay, let's go with this. So this is our basic build. Trim off the extra beacons. Yeah, this is going to be our build for this. Now we need to make sure I can actually feed it. So let's put down a requester chest. Where are they? Yeah. So if I was going to request in here, 
lots. So I just want the speed on that. And I want it in stack inserters. So I need three inputs for plates. I need one input for green circuits. So we're back to the problem of where do we get the extra things in? Move this up. Who thought making assembly machines could be so hard? Okay. So we need the two gears inserters, we need three plate inserters and one green. So that's, we need five inserters plus the gears. It's all wider. Okay, and a single inserter there is sufficient. Try this for ratios then. Okay, so we're missing half our gears basically. Um, we would be producing oh 750 a minute. All right, I think possibly I'm optimizing the wrong thing here. Um, now that I've actually looked at the numbers, yeah, we're going to be able to make all the things we need in moments, aren't we? So this is fine. Um, okay. In fact, it's completely ridiculous. Okay, let's stop being ridiculous and just build what's needed. Okay, let's pull these back. We've been doing everything the other handedness, haven't we? Let's move all these over. No, that's fine, that's short. Okay, that and that can go. Okay, so just have that. Then this can be fed with a single inserter. Don't need the gears. We do need the circuits. And then two of these doing plates. All right. And the number of plates, set it to 800. Set this to 800 as well. All right. Okay, let's spit this out because we we don't actually care about assembly machine ones.
Okay, and we have all of this rather annoyingly offset. Um, okay, this is going to feed into assembly mean machine two. This is going to be capped at one sec. We don't care about those. Okay. So we've got something a bit awry above and below. That's better. Yeah, that's even better. All right, so this also needs gears. Definitely want to put prob mods in here. Okay, and then this is gonna need some inputs. Checking, yeah, it's the same things. It's the circuits, gears, and plates. Okay, there we are. So this is, oh, this will need a, um, an iron input. So assuming this all ran at full speed, which it won't, uh, this all ratios out. Okay. All right, and this produces T2 assemblers. All right, and it is these T2 assemblers which I then want to send off to the this thing here, which is making tier three assemblers. All right. And let's do that in a slightly separate build. So. I would like to feed this from both sides with speed modules. How are we doing here for ratios? Um, So let's look. This needs two, sorry, this needs four speed modules every half second. So that's eight speed modules a second. Okay, so this is just never going to keep up. Okay, so that's probably the best we can do. Um, it's always going to be the case that these speed module machines are the bottlenecks. Okay, and then we have to find a way of beaconing this, which doesn't break anything. The 
problem being the machine in the middle doesn't doesn't behave basically. Um, right. The speed in the middle is never going to be running at full speed, so let's not prioritize beaconing that one. Okay, so I think that's fine. I think that is an adequate build for our purposes. This is going to request and provide. Okay, and then it's a question of just slamming these two builds together. So that's our assembly machines build. We've done mining drills and furnaces, assembly machines. All right. Next time we're going to look at inserters uh, because we're going to need loads and loads and loads of stack inserters, um, and it, I've got a feeling they may be maybe as entertaining to put together as uh, the assembly machine build. So let's end there. Um, thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.